Hello, hi! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back! Today, we are reviewing episode 3 of Grimgar. And guys, I'm just having the feeling that the show is not really going to be centered around action that much. Maybe later on a little bit, but like, I feel like we can't expect this show to be like, action, action, action all the time, because like really, that's not the vibes I'm getting from this show, which is like not a bad thing at all, because I'm still really enjoying it, because now I'm just kind of watching it for what it is, and I'm having a great time, like I don't expect it to be like, you know, action all the time. I'm okay with it, but yeah, um, in this episode, we see the group becoming more comfortable with themselves as, what are they? Knights in training? Training knights? Volunteer knight trainers? Trainer? Training? Knights? Volunteer knights? We see them doing a lot more things and killing a lot more goblins and getting things done, so it was pretty cool. So, yeah. Let me just take a moment to say I love Moguzo. He is so cute. He loves cooking everyone dinner and breakfast and lunch, and he's so cute. I really enjoy him. I really enjoy their little group of people. Like, they're really cute. I love how each one of them has, like, a distinct personality. I love them. And even though Ranta can be kind of annoying sometimes, I still- he's, like, a funny annoying. And it's like, you can't help but like him. In this episode, we kind of start off with the boys apologizing to the girls for the whole- peeping tom incident which was totally ranta's fault but her hero was like i'm sorry like i'm really sorry that this happened and he was so nice about it and yume kind of oh she totally like, slaps ranta that was so funny because ranta kind of admits that he was totally trying to catch a glimpse of them she's like well pow at least i think she slapped him she got really mad at him regardless but speaking of yume and ranta i feel like there's totally something going on or at least i feel like i'm getting vibes that ranta likes yume but like I also feel like Yume likes Haruhiro so like it's gonna be a weird triangle at least is what I'm feeling hopefully not though uh, but talking about ships I totally ship Manato and Shihoru cause they're so cute but I'll get to that later but yeah Yume and Haruhiro have this whole little walk and chat and he's like I'm really sorry and Yume's like yeah like it's okay if like you saw, well it's not okay that you saw, but like I'm okay with it that it's you and it's all this like awkwardness, but like they're friends again and that's nice. They go to Damaro base for goblins, cause apparently it is like an old city, but now it's like overrun with goblins, but like they're less powerful goblins is what I think, what I remember. Uh, they end up actually doing a lot better there and they end up getting like silver coins and like all this other stuff They get to go and spend and they all get to buy some new clothes and food How our hero gets some new underwear because that's what he's wanted this whole time <laughs> So she Horu is kind of really like she's still a little embarrassed about the whole situation slash still mad and at one point Manato even comes over to her and Yume and Shihoru like hides and Manato like looks at Yume and he's like oh, it's okay and he like walks away and Shihoru's like actually like disappointed that he didn't talk to her and they're so cute I love them they are my OTP in this series so far they are so cute and she has like the little clip that she has in her hair that he got her and it's so cute oh Yume also has a really cool new outfit so that's that's always fun they do seem to be getting a lot better at attacking, at planning out a strategy. They're even mapping out the whole city, so like I feel like they're really progressing as a little group of newbies. And I really, I, I know I said this before, but I really do enjoy this more like realistic view of the whole RPG style anime, like where you see like the noobs going at it, and it's really cool to see like them starting from the bottom and hopefully reaching the top. But that was really lame. I'm really sorry we made that joke in the live stream, but I had to say it. Anyways, overall, I really like the show. Okay, like, is it that I really like it or that I really want to like it? It's, it's a cute show. It's not like cute cute, but like it's charming and like it's so pretty. And I really like the characters. I love Manato. I just, I've grown to love him so much. I feel like he is so great. And Yume and Shihoru and Moguzo and Haruhiro and Ranta. And they're all so cute. And I love their little group of adventurers. 
but yeah i really do enjoy this show so far it's not like 100 percent the best thing ever and like there are it's kind of slow paced but like honestly whatever i don't need to watch this for like an action-packed anime like as long as i'm not looking for that while i watch this then it's fine and i really enjoy it so if there is action that's awesome but like just episodes like this i'm okay with that too so i hope you guys like this review if you did let me know by liking and commenting and subscribing because it does really mean a lot you guys are all amazing wonderful people and thank you so much for watching i make a bunch of videos a week and bye